Yeah, sorry. I was wondering where you were going with that. Oh, sorry, f you. All right, f you. Would you ever keep that in? I might put it in the end, too. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, team? So good to see you, as always. We are very happy to be joined by one of our friends, Marcus McMahon. Oh, hell Here yeah. I am. So we've got, <laughs> we've got Marcus back on the channel today because, believe it or not, you may or may not know this, Marcus has had a bit of a, a body transformation yourself, haven't you? You've gone from being relatively unhealthy, a um, couple Massive, of pounds. Massively unhealthy. Yeah, a few pounds overweight to kind of being in really good shape now. So I know a lot of you guys will kind of get kind of confidence from this and inspiration. So the same as what we did with Nikki and Sammy a while back where they explained how they lost tons of weight and got in shape and changed their life. We're doing the same with Marcus. Sweet. So we're kind of going to see a little bit of a different side to you as a person, right? Because you don't really share too yeah, much. Yeah, I of share your... like a little bit, but obviously I don't have a fitness channel, so I'm not going to be yeah. like blah, 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 blah. But it is a part of my life and... It's a huge part yeah. of your life now, really. Yeah, yeah, massively. So let's go all the way back to the start of your journey. So say before you were into training, nutrition, yep. that kind of stuff. What got you to like this point? So we're going to show some photos now and again. Right. What got you to this point where you're at right there? All right, so I used to be a little bit chubby. This is me. Yeah, okay, yeah. we'll pop that on the screen. That is me. So yeah, it's not like, it's not like you're, it's not, you're, you're massively not, overweight no, by I, any means. But I you... just had a bit of excess skin floating yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. here and mainly my belly. And yeah. that was because I used to do a lot of sport as a kid. Like growing up, I did loads and loads of sport, like mm -hmm. played a lot of basketball, gymnastics. And then when I got left college and got into a full-time job, I didn't really keep do, I didn't keep it up. Yeah. I didn't go to yeah, the gym. Yeah, yeah. And I was eating really bad foods. I'd be, I was addicted to Diet Coke, so I'd yeah. have four cans of Diet Coke a day. I'd have That's three. That's good for you. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to do the trick. But yeah, I'd have three packs of crisps a day. I'd eat chocolate all day. I'd this eat is Leon's food, food. Diary, right? We're talking about that. <laughs> getting to about that time again for me. <laughs> so it was kind of like that. I used to go to Tesco and buy a chicken bacon sandwich, a packet of crisps, a Diet Coke, and genuinely think I was being good because my sandwich had lettuce in it. So it was like a big wow. kind of education thing for you. Yeah, massively. Massively. So, like so what was, what, let's go, what made you go like, okay, I want to make a change? So it was one day, it just going into the new year, and obviously everyone's like, yeah, New Year's resolutions, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I was like, looking in the mirror, I was like, you know what? I'm going to try a New Year's resolution and try and become a little bit healthier. Yeah. How I'm going to do that I don't know because I didn't know much about it. I didn't know if to go to the gym or whatever. So I spoke to my sister and she was like, oh, my friend's a personal trainer. Why don't I introduce you to him? Yeah. Sweet. And chat with him and just see what happens. So, so what, did, what did you do like uh, diet and exercise? Yeah, did you, did like you follow level a, spe one? a specific yeah. diet? Or? So level one was, I'll tell you what, the thing that shocked me the most was level one. First time I met him, we went to do a run in my park. The lap is five kilometers around the whole lap. Yeah. I couldn't do even half of that yeah. without having to stop. Okay. Like I genuinely had to stop running. I was like, <gasps> Was that a moment for you though, where you, when you can't do something that you would naturally, like, yeah. when you were younger, do yeah, just you without thinking when you suddenly went all the time. And that realization sets in and you're like, wow, I've got a long way to go. Yeah, 100%. And for me, it was like, he started, I knew nothing about the food stuff. So he was like, oh, this food does this for you. Instead yeah. of white potato, why don't you try a sweet potato? Yeah, because yeah. it does, you know, it's, yeah. and started introducing me into the knowledge behind food, which yeah. I took a real interest in, yeah. cool. and then went away and in my own time started researching it myself. Sweet, okay. So you started with nutrition, yeah. right? So with your training, would you say that you went at it just and let the coach take control, or did he turn around and go, right, so what do you enjoy? Did you find things that you really started to gravitate towards, yeah. or was it literally just get in, do the basics, get a strong base of strength, and then work from there? It was definitely a bit of both. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, I don't want to do any weightlifting. I don't want to do this. So everything we did for like six months was all bodyweight stuff, just calisthenics. in the park, cool. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. doing dips on bars and yeah. benches and running, and it was all very, very basic, simple stuff that anyone can do. Yeah, yeah they can do it anywhere. Um, and that's what first got me into it. So how, so let's just, so people at home have an idea. So when you were doing nothing in a gym, just calisthenics work, working yeah. out in your gym, changing your diet, where did that take you from in terms of uh, kind of body wise yeah, basic and, and, men and mental okay, cool. state? So mental state, it was great because I, the running really helped me. Yeah. I was like, mm -hmm. running was such a feel good factor. You finish a run, you're sweaty and Endorphins, you're like, Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it was being timed, it's like I could see my time getting better each week and I was like, this is really great. I'm actually cool. achieving something. Sweet. Physically, I lost weight quickly because I'd 
I was like, I'm going to go into this. I'm not going to go half heartedly. Yeah, I'm going to go, go, oh, like, I'll try that. I'll try this. I was like, I want to give it. Like, and you managed to sustain it, which is, which is, that, that can often be the trick. Like, it's hard. You throw everything at it, but you yeah. have to try and think about the long game and sustain it. And what's really interesting is what you said there about you could see that you were making improvements. That's something, yeah. if you're looking to change your life, have little goals. Set yourself yeah. little goals. It's rather than going, right, I'm five stone away from where I want to be. Yeah. That's my big goal. But you lose the forest and the trees because it's such a long way away. Mm -hmm. So set yourself, my goal is to lose one pound a week. Or exactly. I want to increase yeah. the speed that I finish my running. And before you know it, you're five weeks in yeah. and you're so much closer to your goal. Do you see what I mean? And that's, that's what, it's a snowball effect. You start eating better, you start performing better. You perform better, you eat better, you, you feel better, you sleep better. better. And it's just a spiral. Yeah. Cycle. And what, one thing that helped me a lot was my trainer was like take a picture in the mirror every once a week yeah so after one month i had these pictures and even comparing the fourth week to the first week i was yeah, like yeah it's crazy wow, wow. Yeah. like that's crazy okay so we kind of had a little bit of a chat about this earlier mm -hmm. you kind of touched upon it where you were saying about you were going to go at it wholeheartedly yeah. so honestly you've said yourself you went a little bit too far yeah. with it in terms of, let, let's kind of open that a little bit. So where, did, cool. where would you say that the boundary got crossed? Where would you say that you got a little bit too involved yeah. or a little right. bit too competitive? I've done it. Too. Yeah. We've, all, we've all been victims of this and it, and it will happen to anyone who gets into training like that. If you're that focused and you've got that much drive yeah. and you know, you're naturally a competitive person, just mm -hmm. the same as any of us guys mm -hmm. are. So where was, you, where was it when you went, oh Christ, hey, yeah. maybe I went a bit too far? All right, so for me, the, it was to begin with, it was all about the food and the yeah. nutrition. So I did training, because I was like, this will help, and I did enjoy it, but I wasn't going hard on the training, it was all about the food, so yeah. my diet became so restrictive to the point where friends would ask me out for meals, and I would either not go, because they go into a place I think, oh, I can't eat anything there, yeah, or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be like, oh, can we go to this restaurant where I know I can get yeah. a salad, or I know it's good ingredients, and yeah. it got so extreme that they I, I wouldn't have life. a beer. Yeah, yeah 100% yeah, yeah, yeah. impacted my life, and. I guess you could kind of say it was verging on like maybe being eating disorder because it's like yeah, definitely. you're so my whole life was revolved around that calories yeah, and you've got, yeah, I did the, I did the same thing and I would go out and I'd go to restaurants with the family and I'd order a salad which isn't me yeah. um and it's not I wouldn't drink beer and the fact is is that it's finding that balance between your happiness and your uh -huh. goal you can still work out very hard and enjoy bits in there. It's just being sensible about it. Like, I had a burger today, so I'm not gonna have a burger at night time. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And just uh, giving yourself, don't be so hard on yourself. Allow yourself a little bit of slack, but at the same time, stick within your parameters. But I'd say, honestly, I've only learnt that six months ago. Oh, it's a work so in progress. It, is, when, it takes a long while, right? It's not It's not something that's gonna happen overnight. Physically, things start to happen yeah. quite quickly. Yeah, you know, yeah, when you yeah, put yeah. the effort in, you get physical feedback. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when it comes to your relationship with food mm -hmm. and your relationship with your body, that's psychologically driven. Yeah. And and that takes a long while to start to understand, you know, even something as simple as this works, that doesn't work. You know, that's not just like, oh, I've done a squat. Well, you works, guys will know as well. Like, we've been on trips, like, even a year ago on the ski trip, and yeah. you, it was the joke. We, we would wind like, Marcus yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Like, we'd go out for a drink and we'd go, Marcus, doing a wheat grass shot or yeah. stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 but even at dinner, like, every, we're, like, we're on a ski trip, everyone's eating bread, and I'm like, no, I won't have any bread. And you're like, oh, no carbs, no yeah, carbs. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that was my life. That was then. your life at and that point. And it's like, looking back now, I'm like, Wow, and you'll have seen mm. even this trip, like how different I am. I mean, th that's the thing. I mean, you can follow a low carb diet, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's it was when it's impacting your life, yeah. like yes, it, like yeah. if, for example, I know people that are on a low carb diet, and um, but they go, oh, I'm taking my kid to to the football, yeah. so I want to have a pie or whatever I'm going to yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. it's it's important. I mean, it's all horse for courses. If you're an athlete, you're going to be more that way. But remember, you're not expected to be that way. Like you're not expected to look like Usain Bolt, or you're yeah. not expected to look like a hundred meter sprinter. Like that. Yeah, yeah exactly because you don't that. train that way. So just be realistic with your goals. Work your ass off and but enjoy it at the same time yeah that's the thing the enjoyment because six months ago probably like six to ten months ago is when I got into the gym more and yep. got into weight training yeah. and that is what I started to really enjoy and that's why I enjoy now so I work Can't out in the yet, gym <laughs> <laughs> I work out in the gym and I work really hard in the gym but then the rest of the time I'm like enjoying myself. Like yeah, I'll, yeah, you I'll, work out to yeah. help your life opposed to you have your life around training. 100%. You know? And that's always the best way to be. That's awesome. So, right, this is where we've got another photo now. That's, uh, what is that? <laughs> this is actually is that where- Is that This is- <laughs> Don't zoom in on that. Oh. Uh, you, we're not putting that up. No, well, we not. can crop the bottom off. No, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to, <laughs> let me get one where I was like super skinny. And that's the point where 
I was doing miserable. yeah miserable and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's more like. That, see, that's, that looks better though because then you've got. I've added. You some look size, at your, yeah, like, you've got I some size. More... You look. You don't look gaunt. Yeah. You know, and your, your, your collarbones aren't showing yeah. that kind of thing. You you look healthy, and that's also something. That, if you don't mind me saying, I'm sure you'd be able to maintain. Yeah. You know, that's rather amazing. than yeah. But that's you, the word you just used, gaunt. I'd be at like family events, and my family would come up to me, and they're like, "You look really gaunt." Yeah. And they're like, "You yeah. look. You Ill. don't look healthy." And in my head, I was like, "But I'm eating so well. Like, yeah, How, yeah, how yeah, do I look ill? Like, what are you on about?" And it was things like that that made me change to this. Sweet, yeah, so you've done obviously amazingly well. Um, what's next? Obviously you need to get bigger arms, you need to put more on your bench press because it's quite simply crap at the moment. <coughs> the bench yeah, the squat's not very, very well. You're average at basketball. Oh. But what's, what's, your, what's your next goal? What, like, are you looking at yourself now and going, you know what, I just like where I'm at like, right yeah. now. I'm enjoying training, I've got a good relationship yeah. with food. Or are you like, I still really want to achieve this because of this? Yeah, I think the whole gym experience, and you all know, like I speak to John quite a lot about this, and well, both of you a lot about this. Yeah, right, come on. This was this time. Oh, we speak to you and you'll be done. Someone's <laughs> jealous. <laughs> <laughs> but I spoke to both of you guys a lot because I was like, I spent a good few months actually eating more food, yep, working yep. out, lifting heavy, and then I was like, oh, I want to try cutting and like yep. learning about it and stuff like that. So for me, it's still growing the whole experience. But in a in a realistic way that's yeah. still allowing me to I think, have fun in my life. I think you life. have to go through the fats because, in in the most in the in the politest way possible, if you're not educated in the same way that Leon and I were when it comes to fitness, if someone tells you that low carb way is the way to go, you're going to try it, aren't you? I did it and, and it and did work for me. But is it necessarily the best way for me? No. Is yeah. it the best way for some people? Yes. Yeah. So you've got to go through and try things and really give them time to work to find, before you find out if they're good for you or yeah. not. But then also one of the biggest things that you were saying as well is that you're not afraid to ask questions. Yeah. You know, and that's one of the things we always try to give to you guys and girls out there is ask questions. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to speak to professionals. Yes, if you speak to a professional and they turn around and just bash a certain way all the time and they're really adamant about it, maybe they're not the best professional to work with. It's a case of getting out there and trying to experience it yourself, but you've got to ask. You've, yeah, got, you've got to have people around you who have got different opinions. You know, so many different personal trainers and coaches have got some incredible techniques, but yeah. you've got to get out there and be open enough to take their, yeah. their you know information on board. I should probably say because I don't think we said how long. So when I first got into that, that was yeah. probably just over three years ago. Yeah. When I first was like, I want to try and get. Yeah, that's a really fit. good point. Um, so the the biggest thing I would tell anyone, me was for the food. So losing the weight quickest for me was changing the diet. Yeah. But yeah. the biggest thing I found was I didn't cut everything out straight away. So I didn't think, right, I'm doing this. Yes, exactly. I'm getting rid of Coke, I'm getting rid of Chris, I'm getting it all in one day. I did one thing at so every Because you're, building, you're yes. building new habits, you're yeah. building a new lifestyle. Yeah. So it, 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 it goes against the grain to start with. Yeah. And you, you implement a new habit, okay, I've got that locked down, let's do something else. Yeah. And you build on it, and you build on it. We still do it now. And you just you start to build a lifestyle around it. A yeah. diet, diet is Greek for way of life. So it should be, you didn't know that, did you? You liked that, didn't you? It should be a way of life. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks for coming on and sharing your story yeah, with us. Pleasure. That's going to inspire you. a lot of people, and especially when it comes from someone who, who has a large following on the internet, and you will have a lot of people that are inspired by this and go, do you know, if Marcus did it, I can do it. Like, we all look up to athletes and, and, yes. and what they might be. So it's, it's nice that you come on and you're, you're open enough to kind of share that with people. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching as always. Marcus, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me. Um, We're going to and film over on Marcus's channel. We're going to go and film over on more Marcus right now, and it's going to be what is it called? Mad Mad Libs Challenge. Mad Libs. Basically, we're going to have a load of fun with inappropriate sentences, yeah, short stories, and a mouth full of water. Yeah. Wow. So make sure you go and click the link and check that out. Obviously, if you haven't already subscribed to Marcus, make sure you do give his subscribe button some love while you're over there. We will be back same time, same place next week. Love you all, and goodbye. Bye, guys.